It's one thing to have a homecoming fight. It's another thing to have that homecoming fight and be a world champion. So what does that all of that mean to you? Just you saying it just gave me nervous. You know, it, it gave me chills. You know, I, I fought a lot of places, but I never fought at home. Just what well, in front of my people, just a thousand just cheering me on. So I'm ready for it. You know, I'm, I'm getting myself mentally and physically, you know, ready. It's a big task, man. You got to have it in you. And I believe since I was young, my coach stored it in me. I never knew that I was a fight uh, back home or be this big. When I came in the gym, I ain't have no goal, to be honest. I was just around love that I wasn't getting at home, you know? I read where you said, boxing helped save my life. What do you mean by that? Five of the fighters that I started with, all of them did. All of them succumbed to the street violence? Yeah, all of, all of them got killed in the streets. And you believe boxing was boxing what saved you? Yeah, boxing definitely saved my life. I could have been, you no, know, I was younger than them, so. I remember my coach, Coach Kenny, jacking up a fighter. Like, you got to stay out the streets. And probably like a year later, he got killed. So it definitely saved my life. You were taken from your parents at a young age? Yeah. How, how old were you and, and why? I think I was probably like five when they took us. And my brother was 10. My mom left us in the house by herself. You know, um, she was on drugs a lot. You went from foster homes yeah. to foster home. You even went to a group home. We was with our uncle, our great uncle. They was abusing us, and he was waking us up like five in the morning, whooping us, making us take out trash and stuff like that, because we wasn't his own. So it was like these new kids that he getting paid to, you know, take care of him. So my grandma would fought to get us back. So at this time, we was the new kid on the block. Everybody loved my brother, and I was the bad one. Uh, I was fighting a lot in school, fighting a lot on the streets, and. You know, one time I fought in front of my house and my uncle saw me fight and he wanted to, you know, turn something negative into positive. And so they brought us to the gym. When I went to the gym, I just embraced the love that uh, the other kids and the coaches was giving me. That's why I actually stuck with the boxing. I didn't stick with it because I wanted to be a professional boxer. I stuck with it because I loved the, the love that I was given. I wasn't getting that, that love from my family. How did, um... All that stuff that happened to you physically as a child, not being reared. My mother always made effort. Like, even when they try to take us, like, if she get in told my grandmother, they try to take us, I always used to see her. Like, she'll come at the, um, like, after school, she'll see me real quick. And it was time that I'll run, I'll run away and stay with her. How do you think that affected you as a person when you look back on that? Um, at a certain age, I could be able to make my own decisions, you know? So I was always strong-minded like that to be able to stay in the gym and, you know, make, make that my motivation. So then how does a kid from West Baltimore go through all of that, and as you talk about even some physical abuse as a child, now sit in front of me, wealthy, and a world champion in boxing? Many of use that as an excuse, coming from where I come from. Me, I just use that as my motivation, you know. And my coach always, uh, you know, stored in my brain that anything I set my mind to, I can achieve it. And no matter what, go against it, I can over overcome it. Now that you're a father, yes, got a one-year-old beautiful daughter, yes. How has that changed you as a person? How's it changed you as a fighter? And like when I'm around her, I don't be so hard, you know. She. Ashley just like me, she like to play, she always smiling, you know, so it just, it gives me stuff to, you know, think about before, like, I do negative stuff, like, I have someone to look after now, you know, I gotta make sure she okay, I gotta make sure our mom and everything's okay, so, she changed me a lot, you know, I wanna say she changed me for the better. The one that appeals to me when I see you is you have blessed on your neck right there. Yes. And, I, I'm, and I'm thinking, like, wow, considering everything you've gone through, that for you to yeah. put blessed right there. I got this right before I fought for my world title. Because I actually, you know, I was down. You know, I was, when I get tattoos, as always when I'm, like, feeling, like, some type of pain, and I can be able to sit through um, the, the tattoo. So I got evicted from my home leading up to my first world title. You know, I, I haven't fought in six months. 
I wasn't making that much. So, and I got into some trouble in Atlanta and I had to, you know, catch the bus back home and, you know, sleep on the, uh, the floor and things like that. So that's when I got blessed and I was leading up to the fight. I had nothing to lose, but I had a lot to gain. And, you know, that's how I, you know, discovered this tattoo. And, and that night, it was just a shocking, shocking moment. You beat Jose Pedraza? Yes. You become the youngest American-born world champion? Yes. You still are? Yes. When they said, in the new, what did that mean to you? It meant a lot, leading up to the fight. It was a lot of, it was a lot of, he too young. He don't have that many fights. That's why in the arena, you see me when I stood up on the ropes, I, my face expression was so mad because I was like, y'all going against me? And my coach was always telling me like, y'all can't go against this man. I, I'm, I'm my best when, so, when a lot of people go against me, when I feel like my back against the, the wall. That's when I'm at my best. I knew I was going to win, and in my heart I was saying, I'm willing to give it all to die in that ring that night. And I, I wasn't letting him beat me. It could have been Mike Tyson in there with me that night. I would have knocked him out.